Hey everybody, Justin Seeley here with another Photoshop tutorial for you. This time around, I'm going to be showing you how to quickly and easily create grid systems inside of Photoshop using something called Guide Guide, which is an extension that you can add to Photoshop by going to guideguide.me and downloading the extension and then loading that up inside the Adobe Extension Manager which ships with CS6 and CC. This actual extension works for version CS5, CS6, and CC, so all of those are covered within this extension. And so once you have that downloaded and installed, you will be able to create complex grid systems like the one you see here inside of Photoshop very quickly and very easily. This is a task that is usually very tedious. There are several tools online that can help you, but many of them involve you still having to draw out all of the different guides like what you see here. However, Guide Guide is a panel that works inside of Photoshop that allows you to quickly and easily create all of these lines without really having to do anything. So let's go ahead and create a new document. And I'm just going to create a new document that's 1280 by 2000. That's about what I use for a conventional desktop design website. And once I have that open, I'm going to go to Window, Extensions, Guide Guide, and that's going to open up my guide for me. And so once I'm here, what I'm going to do is click and hold to clear out all the values in here. And then let's just take a look at it. You can specify top margin, bottom margin, left and right margin, number of columns, number of rows, column width, row height, column gutter, and row gutter. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a margin up top at 0, a bottom margin of 0. I'm going to use a 1,000 pixel wide grid. And so I want to make sure that I have equal amounts of space on each side so that the grid is centered on the page. So what I'm going to do here is just take 1280 minus 1,000, which gives me 280, and then divide that by 2, which is 140. So 140 on either side of this. Then right here we've got our number of columns. This is going to be totally up to you. In most cases it's going to be something like 12 or 8, maybe even 6. But in this case I'm going to go 12 columns across. No rows. I want them to give me a column width of 65 pixels and a gutter width of 20 pixels. And I know this because this is a popular grid setup that I use all the time. If you have your own grid setup that you like to use all the time, just go ahead and plug those numbers in here. And so I'll just plug the rest of those in as zero. And then all I have to do is hit the GG or Guide Guide button, and Photoshop creates that grid system for me. And now I can start building out website mockups based on this grid very quickly and very easily. As you can see here, I can start just drawing some shapes out here that go across maybe like three columns or you know, four columns, five columns, whatever the case may be. I can just start drawing out my mock-up based on this grid system and I didn't have to spend a whole lot of time setting that up. Now another great thing about Guide Guide is that you can actually save these sets as well. So I could come in here and I could choose New Guide Set and I could just call this 1000 pixel 65 wide 20G for 65 pixels of width, 20 pixels of gutter and I might also put on there 12 columns. And so once I do that, I'm just going to hit enter and hit the check mark down there at the bottom. And now I have that new grid system all set up. So anytime I want, if I'm on the grid panel, I can just come here to sets and I can select that and then I can hit guide guide and it'll automatically generate it for me. So for instance, if I started a new one, hit OK, select that, guide guide, it builds it out for me. So again, if you are building your website mockups or whatever it is that you're working on inside of Photoshop based on a certain grid system, I highly recommend checking out this little cool Photoshop extension called Guide Guide, which again, you can get at guideguide.me online. All right, that about wraps up this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, as always, you can post them on my YouTube channel, or you can post them on my blog site at justinseeley.com. You can also shoot me a message via Facebook at facebook.com slash seeleyfb, and I'm also on Twitter at Justin Seeley. And while you're at it, if you could, take the time to subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. I have a lot of free videos there and more coming out all the time. So thanks, everybody, for watching. Hope to see you again real soon.